Yeah, well, yeah. It, I hear from a lot of people that hey, it's finally, finally time to do this. And uh, I, I mean, I agree, but I always had like so many opportunities of doing so many different things that uh, all the, my creative, uh, my, my creativity was channeled anyway. You know, when I have an idea for a, an arrangement or for a song, I can really channel that into anything. So, uh, so far it has been into, you know, uh, the group, the Tierney Sutton Band, and then, uh, and then my trio, I was doing trio. And then uh, after doing uh, five trio CDs, you know, I thought, okay, uh, now I would like to, to do something a little different. And uh, the idea came of, of doing a tribute to, uh, to what made me move from classical music, like I'm talking 40 years ago when I was preparing to be really kind of a classical player and and then uh, those you know those beautiful standards and things who made me uh, learn to improvise and all that so so that's when I I thought you know I'm gonna do like a CD uh, like just a solo piano trying to revive the orchestral sound of the piano so for the orchestral sound of the piano, it needs to be by itself, you know, if you, so, uh, so I, that I'm very excited about this new project now because uh, I realize already some people are telling me, oh my God, yes, I can, I can hear something different, you know, something, whoa, there, there's, and I realize it's that 3D, feel of the piano that we kind of lost a little you know over the year doing over the years doing so many different bands different and so the piano sound has become you know like a very uh, uh, generic sound exactly and then but if you go and I, so I rented a hall a concert hall and with a great piano to really have the whole sound and then now displaying the whole orchestral sound of the piano. So that's how it came about. Yeah, but first I do agree. We really went now into a, a singer-oriented uh, direction. But I believe in, in waves. Or, you know, over the life cycle of, uh, uh, of the society and, and there's, it will come back uh, to mu uh, pure music. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I've been with singers like 30 years and I learned the importance of, of you know, of the human voice, which is, of course, w one of the best the, the best instrument, you know, the mo most uh, um, complete instrument, and then the power of lyrics and this kind of thing. But at the same time, we did forget that uh, an instrument, you know, with a pure uh, musical sound, uh, even if there's no lyrics, it doesn't mean there's no communication. It's, I always say it's like a you know, a baby or a toddler who doesn't know how to speak, he still can communicate very well, you know. So, so uh, the power of, of the instrumental music is a little lost, but I'm sure it will come back. And again, I, I'm kind of seeing this like with that my new project kind of being exactly in the direction that I'm, I'm trying to get and say, well, okay, this is piano, but try to listen a little, you know, inside the sound and see that there's more. <laughs> That's 
Well, that, that's a difficult question because I get excited for so many different projects sometime in my head. And uh, so <laughs> I would probably say something like, uh, give me a couple of weeks. <laughs> I'm going to think about it and I call you back. And then I would really think about it constantly until, you know, the ID pops into my mind. You know, it would probably be kind of a, a mix, which has, has been kind of what jazz art has been about, you know, mixing styles, you know, you did uh, Indian and music and jazz or, or uh, gospel. And, and uh, I mean, that's what attracts me anyway. So I know that I'm, I'm getting more and more now back to uh, a classical hybrid type of thing. So uh, I, I'm getting back into the acoustic thing. So. Uh, probably something like a, a symphonic uh, project, uh, symphonic jazz. Uh, I mean, so far I, I'm, I'm really thinking, you know, in, in the line of what Jazzar has done so far. So, but I would, I would love to think about it for a couple of weeks. <laughs>